Hello guys, it's Grant here, and today we're going to be doing some Smithfield farm. Uh, you might be able to tell I'm not, I don't have the best voice at the moment, but I am real. Uh, <laughs> I've got the cold, which has also turned into a cough, and being sick. So, that's a nice, that's a nice thing to have. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm sorry if I'm out blocked off and coughing and spluttering and all that, but uh, I just I need to start my, I need to get some videos done, so, and this is the only free time I've got, and I made a complete and utter tit of that. So yeah, so I apologise about the audio, but I'm doing my best. I bought this and brought it back. Can't remember how much it cost. But now we can start getting grass for the cows that we don't own. Uh, we're going to need to get something to do with the cows. Um, I don't. You know, I'm actually going off this tractor. If I'm being honest, it's just the. It's just so. The lock on it is just god awful. And that was a, that was hard to get in there. It's just not it's not the same as the Massey. Oh I don't know. I don't know. I just prefer a tractor with the uh, with a tighter lock. I don't know. It's alright, I guess. Um right. I think that's everything for this one. Yeah. It's not easy to see since the grass grew. Alright, this has got a blue bar that tells you how much is going in. That's pretty cool. I guess that's because... I know you can only go a certain speed with an implement on, so I guess if you were to get, like, huge windrows, like, just the whole field into one to save time, so you'd be taking in, like, so much, I guess that's, like, an anti-cheat. This is smart, I like this. Shame it's so big. See if it was like a single action one, it'd be so much easier on this farm. But this is what we've got. And it's pretty cool. Though. I like it. It will be a bit of a pain to get around. But it makes some cool noises though. I'm not sure how much it holds either. Honest. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Oh, it's so horrible having this. Oh. We're at ten thousand meters at the moment. Uh, I just gotta watch the speed pretty much because it likes. Some bits there's more grass than others, so it just jumps up. Don't want to block the machine. Gone. Are you meant to do the headlands first? Or are you meant to do up and down first? 
I forgot. I remember I was told this before. And now I've realised I've most likely done it the wrong way. My whole plan for this let's play is to be as realistic as possible. That's why I'm trying to do as much inside. I was looking at getting a manual attach the manual attacher script. But um, what was it it was telling me? I was looking at the comments, one of the guys put it crashed the game. And that's not something I really want to happen. Spin around like this. I have a feeling I'm gonna go through that. Oh, I just brushed it, it's fine. Just brushed it. Yeah, this tractor was never gonna make that turn, so it was just worth going around the other way. The giant's wheel, that should be coming out soon. I don't know whether I'll get it though, I can't really afford to. But at the same time, it would be awesome for this game. Plus it'd be better so that if it's terrible, for some reason, then I can showcase it and just explain that. Just give everyone a heads up. But the side panel looks pretty good. The only problem though is, I think it's only like 150-ish quid. I think, I'm not sure, it might be more than that. The only thing I'm thinking is, you can't really use that for other games. Like with G27, that's what I've got now, the Logitech. Using that for, for this, I can also use it for pretty much any other game I want. Racing thing. Whereas, you can't really... I mean, you could probably, the way the steering wheel is angled, the way it looks like it's angled, you could use it for a Euro truck. But then you couldn't use the, if you were into the gears, the whole 12 speed gearbox. Is that it full? Yeah, that's just full. Yeah, if you're into the whole uh, 12, 12 speed gearbox or 18 speed gearbox on your old truck, that little side panel's only got. Uh, this thing is heavy. It's pull, pulling the tractor around. Yeah, you couldn't really use that little, it's just like a wee joystick thing. It looks like you couldn't really use that for changing gear. Plus, you there's no clutch either. I don't think. I'm pretty sure there's no clutch. Which is, to be quite honest, that disappointing. But I was thinking about the gearboxes and tractors. I'm not a huge expert here, but I know there's different kinds. I think it's called a, a, C, a CVT box, I think, I don't know, but I'm sure that's one that's, uh, is that, I don't know, but then you get other boxes that are different, I don't know, so you guys can explain that to me, but I guess that's a thing like you couldn't make, you couldn't have it so there's each kind of. Like I know you've got that. Like, it's like a, it's a crash box or something. It's called. Um, how am I going to do this? Yeah, I think it's called a crash box or something. And then you've got your. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I guess they couldn't make each kind of different gearbox, really. But it would be nice to have gears in the game. That would be awesome. This thing is huge, it's this, for moving about. I'm not even sure, I think it's the far one we want to go joystick on it. I don't know if, I presume that's for a loader control, but I'm not sure, to be honest. I kind of want to shot that. We 
Okay, it doesn't look very easy for loader control. It looks awfully small. Uh, one I've got here is a bigger joystick. Kind of more like what you would have on a real tractor. I, f I find it good because you can you know, fit your whole hand on it. Uh, oh, hang on. This is making some cool noises. But yeah, it might be alright. It's just a shame it doesn't have a clutch. Because you can't really use that in a racing game. Like, I couldn't... I like to drift, so... Obviously clutch kicking... Would be a bit of a... Bit of a problem there. Oh, I think I've made a mess of that. That's getting awfully close to the wall. There must be millimetres in that. <laughs> yeah, so it takes 25,000 litres of this large wagon. So it looks so smart. It actually goes quite well with this tractor as well. So. But yeah, we should have plenty of silage really for when we get cows. We've still got, I've been looking at it, and we've still got to get a cultivator and a seeder just so we can reproduce seed or well, crop. We don't, we don't have any cows. We don't have, we don't even have a, uh, what's it called? A, a diet feeder. So. Yeah, I don't know what. We've still got that seed to sell, though. The crop, sorry. That we harvested. If you can sell wood on this map, we might do that as well. Because we've got a forestry bit up beside the. Uh, up beside the. What's it called? The dairy farm. So that would be another thing we can do. But I don't know where you sell it. I don't know if it's only wood chip you can sell as well. Or I don't know what the crack is really. So yeah, that's the only problem, because there is, there is wood on this map, like trees that you can cut down, but is there a place to sell it? That's the only problem. So we we'll need to find that out. But yeah, this is a hard, so maybe I should give myself a bit more cash to start off with. Or I shouldn't have tried to do cows straight away, I should just got a cultivator and a cedar. That would probably make no sense. But, I don't know. weird, you don't hear the noise when you're outside. I, th 
think that's yeah, that's the road that we started going down before we found it. Before it was completely full. It's been so long since I've played this, I'm trying to remember whoever it is. I was looking for the fuel there. Yeah, I can see it. Silage, I know you can do that. But what's the profit on that? Like, I don't overshot that one. I didn't realize it was it's hard to see with grass the way it is. Is that it? That's the mod. Right, I'm going to take this one back up. Empty it. This is a heavy, heavy trailer. You can actually feel it with the tractor. This is so cool. There's the Massey. So cool. In theory, I don't know how much that combine sells for, but in theory, we could sell the combine if there's a cheaper one that we could buy, if, it, if that would give us money as well to spend on cedar. Because we don't really need a big combine like that, really. It's a bit big, a bit too big for this map, really. Without a header trailer. So I could live without it. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. Get this in. It's so hard to reverse this thing, especially not having a decent lock on this tractor. That is that is a big issue. Oh, I caught that. The wee step up bit. Yeah, my driving skills are okay. I thought they might have suffered a bit, but. They're not bad. They're alright. Good enough for Sky. Almost empty. Try spread out a bit. Well, that doesn't, for some reason that doesn't reset your view, like changing where you look at it. I dump that trailer there. Oh. I don't think... Compact it a bit. Just because it's only. It's better to compact it rather than try wait till the whole thing is full and then do it because that takes ages. We are 
17% compacted. Shame we don't have a buck rake. I remember we did this. Me and the bipolar prophet did this on the 13th. Or 2000, the 2013 game. It was pretty good to the wee dudes in the international. This map is better multiplayer, I think. Just because you can use a, a wagon and a, a harvester. It's easier, I think. On, it takes a while to compact. Alright. I think I'm going to end it there. So, uh, so yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And just, co just comment. Just tell me what you. If you're enjoying it, what you want to see. Especially if there's any mods that have come out. Not private mods, just like normal. Everyone can access mods. That are good. Because I haven't. I've been away from the scene for a bit, so. So, yeah. So. Let me, uh. Let me know. So, yeah, so take care, guys. I'll see you later.